Welcome back to another EV Quickie and in this one we're going to take a look at the solar event of the week which was the total eclipse uh, which if you're a presenter on The View uh, you think is caused by climate change and you probably think it's racist as well but obviously people flocked to see the path of totality and most people got there in their gas cars and got home in their gas cars but some silly people tried to go in their Teslas and ended up queuing for hours for chargers. Electric vehicles wait in long lines to recharge before leaving Van Buren after the solar eclipse. Around 40 electric vehicles waited in a long line at Casey's in Van Buren to recharge before heading out of town. Several people made long road trips to the path of totality on April the 8th. While some people hit the gas station on their way back home, quite a few electric vehicle owners had to wait a while before they could charge up and leave. Around 40 electric vehicles waited in line to recharge in Van Buren around 6.30pm on Monday. The vehicles were waiting to use the charging stations at Casey's General Store at 500 Pointer Trail. There were only six charging ports for nearly 40 cars waiting in line. Oh joy. Let's take a look at some of the video from this story. No, this isn't a Tesla dealership. This is a line of EV owners waiting to charge up in Van Buren on Monday after watching the total solar eclipse. Some batteries were basically dead on arrival. I was nervous a little. I was like, oh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? I started turning off the AC and making sure like, oh, it's like, I hope I can. I was like, I don't even know how to put this car in neutral. So I was like, oh, please, 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 please. But then luckily I was able to get it in time. And when you get to an EV charging station, there's usually only a few plugins to go around. But for some people like Crystal Evans and her husband who road tripped from Utah to Moralton, it became an icebreaker. Talk to the other people that are behind and find out where they're from and everything. So it's great because it's like a community and you can get to know other people from other places. Community of losers. Seems like Tesla drivers will do anything to kind of justify uh, their purchase, including uh, making new friends in the charging line. Anyway, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Bye for now.